Another box media day. There's been nothing in the off season, right, to talk about. It's been pretty boring. Thank you to all of you for turning out. We've got a, a full room here. I see. Can I wear this up here? Let's go. I wear this. It is time to begin. First of all, I want to thank Wes, thank John, Milt, Griff. You know, I appreciate you guys um, making this happen. Obviously, I've you know, spent my entire career in Portland, 11 years, long time. So I'm extremely thankful for that organization, uh, that city, the fans, uh, for giving me the kind of experience that I had. You know, I don't think it's a secret how much I, I want to win. And um, that's how we got here today. And I think they want to win equally as bad as I do. And, you know, I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more thankful. Uh, for this opportunity to be a part of this organization, to play alongside uh, the best player in the league. You know, it's going to be fun. Damian Lillard is on his way to the Milwaukee Bucks. Adrian Griffin, the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are champions once again. I love taking pictures like this. Those in my collection. Stay on the beaten path, right? Give an E for effort. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give it all I can. <laughs> you got that on, on tape? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good. <laughs> Birdie on the first hole. That's all. Shout out to the OG, big Dre, big my Dre. dog. I had to probably felt this way since I was a player. <laughs> just that excitement, you know, it feels like uh, Christmas morning, you know, I'm just ready to tear those presents open. And that's how I feel about our team. I'm just ready to dive in, get to work. I got one more. It's, it's a lot of excitement in there, and, and it should be. We have a grand uh, opportunity in front of us, and uh, we want to make the best of it. It's like the first day of school, you know? You're excited. Come in in the best shape that you can, ready to learn. And that's where you set a tone, knowing that it's a marathon and you're not going to win the first day. Just got to figure out how to do it together, and you stay. Try to keep making those steps in the right direction. The foundation is strong here, and I've said that from day one. I wasn't trying to come in to uproot things and start from scratch. I just wanted to add to it, but at the same time, you know, from day one, we, we got to treat it like it's day one and take the first step and the second step, get ready for training camp, have great practices, and get ready for that first game. You know, I was actually on the team, preseason roster, and I was going into my 10th year, so I was super excited. But unfortunately, Scott Skiles called me and he said, hey, I tried to fight for you, just couldn't make it work but why don't you, uh, you know, join my roster? He told me take a couple of days and think about it. Every athlete will tell you it's hard to hang up the sneakers and it, it was very difficult, but athletically speaking, you can only play so long <laughs> before your body says no more. But with coaching, you can take it as far as you want. It's up to you. There's really no, no ceiling. How I'm excited about, you know, the new chapter we're stepping into. I'm excited to play for him. It's a great opportunity for him as a first-time head coach to come out here and prove himself. 
He's a, a first year head coach. You know, that energy's irreplaceable. You can't get it anywhere else. It's special and unique. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Hey, make sure you get a piece of that back there. Just hearing all the stories about how he was as a player, uh, it's no coincidence that he's able to get his job uh, as a head coach. Him building that bridge of connectivity with player coach, it's been great. Doesn't matter who you are, he might be a rookie, he might be a vet, like he goes, come talk to you, make sure he acknowledges you, text you, reach out to you, call you, like, I love that uh, about him. That's all you can ask for from a coach is to hold every single guy from one through 15 accountable the same way. And he's done that since he's been here. He was a leader as a player, and he's gonna be a leader for us. I know for the offense it's tough, but when we get in the game, it's gonna be easy. Why? Because you've already practiced it. I think he's gonna do a hell of a job. I think he's gonna do great with us. The opportunity to coach Giannis, Chris, Brooke, just to name a few, it's every coach's dream. These opportunities don't come along every day. Seems like he's excited, he's eager, I'm ready to get this thing going, and so am I. I competed against the Milwaukee Bucks that were always hard fought, and a huge reason for that was Chris. Welcome back, Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton steps back from the corner. Wow, that looks like good old Chris. But backdoor cuts, not gonna miss that. Middleton on the catch and shoot. Nice spin and the reverse. Chris Middleton. It's all straight away up top. Chris Middleton, poor three. Boy, he's been good tonight. Really? Is that what we're doing now? He's one of those unique players that you can't put smaller guards on him because he can overpower them. Middleton, a little turnaround. That one's good. Middleton taking over here to start this fourth quarter. He's got that look about him. The bigger players, he could take them on the perimeter. He can get a shot off. Middleton getting some extra run here. You know, he's always poised, always under control. He lets his game do the talking. He always kind of calms the team down. So having him back and healthy is invaluable for our team. I didn't want to go anywhere else. I think a lot of people knew that, including my teammates, including ownership, front office coaches. We wanted to stay here because one, family, the camaraderie, and then just, we want to win. This is the, a team that's, you know, built to win now, and I felt that we could do it. So I was happy that we got a deal done. You know, I'm extremely grateful to be here. You had a lot of options to explore in the off season. Yes. And yet you chose to return. Yeah. What was it about this team and this franchise? I think it's the best place to win a championship. But, you know, most importantly to me are just the relationships I carved here with my teammates, created family for life here. And, you know, those, those guys I'm out on the court with, they're, they're truly brothers to me. <laughs> I mean, Bucks were down by 15. Come back to be up by 11, but look at, uh -oh, oh no. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, look at this. I don't want that to happen in a game like this. Yeah. To compete at a high level with this team, having won a championship, to have goals this year for one and, and beyond, it's really special. We don't see this a lot around the league. To have all these familiar faces here at the start, it's just chemistry. Eighty-eight days ago, Damian Lillard requested a trade out of Portland, and today he is on his way to the Milwaukee Bucks. Blockbuster deal that lands the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo, all-NBA guard Damian Lillard. It's about to go down. A new dynamic duo in the NBA set to activate in Milwaukee. Dame time has come to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now you're going to have Giannis and Dame. It's going to be Shaq and Kobe-like. They fit together perfectly. Where do they rank in the East in your eyes? We should be talking about where they rank in the league. And not only do they, Baker's got their favorite. Damn it, I do too. The Milwaukee Bucks are the favorites going into the season. This is a big, big, big time day for the Milwaukee Bucks. I just got home from training. At this point, I'm thinking I might not get traded before training camp. You know, I might just have to wait this out and figure out where I'm going because they probably won't want me to come in, you know, knowing that it's going to be a trade. So I literally go up to my man cave. I plug my phone up on the charger. <laughs> I open my phone up. I'm like, man, let me look on Instagram right quick. And literally, as soon as I opened up Instagram, it's a boxing platform that I follow. So they post a picture of me and Giannis. And I see it and I'm like, 
I thought it was speculation, but as I was like sliding down to like click on like the rest of the caption, my agent called me. Like right as I was looking at it and he said, they traded you to Milwaukee. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, you going to Milwaukee. Like it's gonna be Milwaukee. And we hung up and I kind of sat there and I was just like, my first thought was like everything I was leaving behind. I've been on this team 11 years. My whole family almost is like living here. My mom, my brother, my nephews, my cousins, my best friends, everything is right there. So I started thinking about everything that I was leaving behind and it was like, it made me a little sad. Like, man, you know, life as I've known it for over a decade is like about to change. The next thought was like, this is happening for a reason. Like this might be what it was supposed to be. Pat Connaughton I played with is on the team. Robin Lopez I played with is on the team. And then my friends and my brother and my cousins was like, you know, you about to play with Giannis and y'all got this person and y'all got that person. And I was like, I think this is like what it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? And I started to get excited and then I walked into a rally. There's no denying just the pure hype for Bucks fans when that trade was announced on Wednesday. Now today, around 5,000 of them came out to support Dave's first official appearance here in Milwaukee. So just landing on the plane and coming into that welcome rally, it was like, a, it was reassurance. You know that, you know, I'm wanted here. It's a great situation for me and it's where I should be going. You know, it's what I should be doing. I'm excited. I feel like this is, this is where I'm supposed to be right now. I got my kids and they kind of came out as like a bunch of people screaming and yelling and they right in the middle of it at that age. I'm sure it's something that they'll always remember. You know, when they do look back at it, my hope that they remember it as the moment where, you know, we just, we changed direction. And it was a change for all of us. Every time we came here, you know, I just didn't think there was much going on. And since I've been here now, it's just more life. And I don't know why in the past, I just thought it was nothing here. So it was great for me to come here with, with nice weather and be able to actually see the city a little bit. It's crazy. If they yeah. doing that, I can't imagine what it's like if you actually win. Yeah, no, it will be good. Don't worry yeah, about that. Where I am from like a maturity standpoint is like, you know, I need to be in a great basketball environment. I need to be in a focused environment. Oh, uh, that's cool. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> um, 33 years old, so like, there's some expectations. This was the time for this. Like, I'm, I'm ready for this moment now. Like, this is when it was supposed to happen. It's time to win. And I'm excited to play with a guy like Dame that plays with a chip on his shoulder, hungry to win the championship, hungry to be great. To get a guy like, like Dame, I mean, um, he's one of a kind. Everybody knows the type of guy he is, the type of player he is. So. He just makes us so, so much better. The things he can do, offense that he brings, obviously the shooting ability, everyone knows, but the playmaking, just the attention he's gonna draw, he's gonna get so many other people open, but then his leadership ability is so many intangibles he brings, they're just right in line with what it means to be a Bucks basketball player, you know, he lines up just perfectly. But when you talk about fitting a guy into a roster that already has a, a great nucleus, I think, you know, you're talking about a guy like Damian Lillard. Now we have Damian Lillard, it's not a guy like him. That's what he's saying, it's game time. That's right, it's game time. Lillard attack, flies for the air. Tate with him, sets his feet, leans back for three, got it. Scores it, 71 for Damian Lillard. Going for the win, Lillard, long range three.
would love for Damian Lillard to step up here and introduce him to the Milwaukee Bucks organization. You know, I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more thankful uh, for this opportunity to be a part of this organization, to play alongside uh, the best player in the league. You know, it's going to be fun. And uh, the hospitality that they showed, my family, we touched down to a parade. My first time getting traded. <laughs> so you don't know what to expect. You know, so to walk in to something like that was special. Um, it was a, a great welcoming and, um, you know, it's, it's something that I really appreciated. It only made me more excited to be here and more excited to get to work. So, you know, I'm thankful. Having a guy like Dame on the team, it's, um, it's unbelievable. We kind of have been moving under the radar and now, you know, with this kind of move, it brings a lot of, uh, you know, attention to the team and there's a lot of hype around the team. Yes, it looks good. It's, a, it's an attractive thing, me and him playing together, the kind of team that we have, but the work has to get done. And, you know, I think that's one thing that we're extremely like-minded about. You don't win a game, you don't win the championship by making a move. You win the championship when you're the last team standing. So we got to get better from day one. Got to be focused in training camp and then kind of build habits from game one to game 10 to game 50 to game 80. And hopefully when we get, get to the playoffs, we exactly where we want to be and we give ourselves a chance to win a championship. We got on the same page about that right away, so I think that's, that's the approach. When I got here, there wasn't much buzz around basketball. That's one thing I'm proud to see over the years, the buzz and the energy that you know, people have when they speak about the Bucks. The city has been behind the team, and I feel like there's so many people now that they uh, attach, emotionally attached to this team. So I'm happy that I'm part of that. I'm happy that I'm part of uh, the city of Milwaukee, involving. Guys want to be a part of this because they feel it's special. Just seeing all these good players and everybody going about their business as professionals, like on a championship level, you see where they've been and why they've been there. Not just the players, but the organization as a whole. It's just a, it's a different level. This is the standard for everybody. You know, this is what it is for everybody. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. This is going to be our 16th year. I've played on a lot of different teams throughout the league, and you know, I've, I've never been in a locker room like this one. Our culture that we've built here, we do things the right way. It's all about winning. We don't think about no extra stuff. We don't, we don't have so much attention from the media. We just come in, do our work, try to win in the high, highest level, and that's why we are the one of the winningest teams the last five years. A lot of players around the league see that, acknowledge that, and want to be a part of that. I'm so happy that uh, we were able to uh, bring a guy like uh, Dame to help this team be great. But this is just the beginning. We have a great city, great culture. We win championship, like this is the place to be right now. You know, and hopefully we can win another championship and even solidify that. Winning a championship, it sounds, you know, sexy and glamorous on paper, but winning a championship is gritty. If we got to come in and do defensive slides for 15 minutes, if we got to do shell work two or three times a day, are you willing to do it? And we got guys that are going to go out there, grind, work, get on court, get in the weight room, do whatever they can to better themselves and better the team. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of challenges. We just have to figure out how to do this together. Well, we have to do our job of holding each other accountable uh, on a nightly basis, daily basis. And that starts with training camp, that starts with practices, film sessions. We just have to put it together. There's a lot at stake. The expectations and the belief to be contenders is something that you know we hold ourselves accountable for and know that we're expected to be in that conversation. Being on the championship team that has, has a realistic chance of winning is great. The pressure that comes with it, I love it, I embrace it. It's kind of like a different vibe around here. Everybody got one thing on their mind, and that's to win a championship. Championship and nothing less. You want to win a championship, it's that simple. We expect to hold that trophy up again someday. I want to win, I want to win championship, I want to be the last team standing. This is the place where I should be able to win for the first time. This is where I'm supposed to be right here.